Hey guys. So today we've got the Ram 2500. We've got the 10 meter long plant trailer. We've got to go and pick up the tub off the uh, F250. Um, if you don't know what's going on with the F250, go back to the past video. We're doing a full build up on that truck with Mitts Alloy. So full tray canopy setup, Overland Project F Tech it's called. So the Ram 2500 has been featured in the channel a few times we've done a review between the F250 and the 2500 Ram. Um, we've also done a wheel install and I do have some more content going to come on the Ram but it's very rare that I get it because um, it is my parents truck. So um, I borrowed it today, hooked up my trailer, we're going to go down and pick up this tub and just see how it tows. I'm really curious to see how this truck's going to tow this big trailer and so far I've hooked it up, I've come halfway out our really long driveway and it's actually been pretty good. Um, I'm keen to see what it's going to do on the highway. The F250 kind of, when this trail is empty because it's so heavily sprung, it kind of gets a bit of a bounce happening. Um, only because there's no weight on the trailer. So if I've got weight on the trailer, if I've got a vehicle or something on the trailer, it's smooth as butter. Um, so I want to see what the characteristics with the Ram being a coil rear and designed to carry a lot of weight how it's going to handle no weight on the truck and no weight on the trailer down the highway and we're going to see how it goes today so give you guys a quick look this is the uh this is the trailer here behind me you can see it there so massive trailer full timber deck on top i've got the fold down ramps um a couple of light bars got a winch and uh here's the ram 2500 so Got the method race wheels. All right, guys. So we're in the Ram. We're just driving out the driveway now. The road's pretty corrugated at the moment. I've got to get onto uh, <laughs> grading it, watering it, and rolling it back in. So it's a little bit bumpy. But I really want to see how this truck goes today. I'm really curious. Just because I, I've driven it a few times to do the couple of modifications that we did. Um, with the wheels and tires and stuff like that, but I haven't actually towed with the truck yet I don't think we're actually towed at all with it yet. So this will be its first maiden voyage I've had the truck for a little under 12 months and So I've been driving down the highway for probably about 40 minutes to an hour and I just wanted to uh, Get a feel for the truck before I turn the camera back on obviously and let you guys know what sort of experience I'm having with this truck being completely unloaded in the rear of the tub or the bed and having a rated four and a half ton trailer with no no weight at all on it so and I'm pretty impressed um, this Ram has definitely been very smooth down the highway so far um, Again, Australian highways aren't the smoothest thing in the world. Um, they're pretty pretty average. Uh, there is some good sections. We're on a good section right now. So One of the facts I actually like about the Ram is that right now, it's basically towing this trailer is effortless. So just under two ton, I don't even know it's there. It's just the trailer's non-existent. So if you had a, even a boat that was around three ton, you might, yeah, know that it's behind you but it just there's no effort in these trucks when they tow it's just and it's the same with the F truck there's just there's no effort there it just they just do it so well and they're, they're growing in popularity in Australia which is really good I'm really excited about that and I hope a few of the other manufacturers jump on board and start actually bringing these trucks to the country and um, Ram's doing really well so far right now like just gone into 24 hour production as of like 12 months ago they ramped right up the 1500s selling like crazy because it's only like $70,000 so quite affordable um, the 2500 is obviously a bit more expensive I think it's around 130000 um, for this truck when you're choosing whether it's a Ranger Navara Ram with you're buying it to tow don't always sit on the limit so don't go and get a boat that weighs exactly 3.5 ton and then stick it behind a ranger and think that everything's going to be fine because that's what it's rated at etc don't always run on the limit it's so dangerous just to run on the limit all the time you want a buffer zone 
and I believe that buffer zone should be about a ton. If you can get a ton between your maximum tow capacity versus what you're actually towing, then you should have no problems at all and it should do it quite simply and, and very easy. A lot of these people that go out and buy a three and a half ton caravan or a three and a half ton boat or, or whatever they're towing and go and buy a ranger or whatever and they're always on that bloody limit and it's so dangerous. Yes, the, yes, it's on paper it says that it can do it, but I would never do it. If I had a trailer and I was looking to buy a ranger, my trailer weighed two and a half ton, upwards almost to three maybe by the time it's loaded yep no problem no worries a good 500 700 kilo extra perfect but i'd never i'd always try and get about a ton of extra room there wiggle room you always know that you're safe then with the law and not stuff like that that you're not you're not overloaded you're not overweight you've also got to take in consideration everything you put in the vehicle like that all comes away from your payload and things like that so now with the ram as in how do i like to drive it does it suit me yes and no They're, they are a really nice truck and i think i could get used to it i think i'm so used to the f-250 now that this just feels very foreign to me um they're a nice truck, very smooth on the road, very smooth off-road. It's it's like everything everything works. It's here in front of me, the dash, all the controls. Um, their infotainment's a bit crazy. I suppose I just take time to get used to it because I'm used to the F250. But um, as in everything else, I, I like it. I think that I'm just <laughs> I'm not kind of biased towards the F250, but. I like its layout, I like how it feels when I'm driving it, I like the view, the position, the way the bonnet's shaped um, to be able to see over it and stuff like that because these do have a big a big nose on them, these American trucks. Um, but these are, would, would I buy one of these? Yes I would, if this, if the um, the F-250 wasn't an option here and this this was an option, um, which, it, which it is obviously, but um, yeah, I definitely would buy buy a Ram 2500. So some more modifications that are going to be coming to this truck. Um, my parents want to do a few more things. I think once they see the F250's new train canopy, they're probably going to want one for this. Um, they're all, nah, 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 all about it right now. They don't want nothing to do with trays and canopies and stuff. They just like the truck the way it is because they don't, they don't have anything in the back. Um, they just purely bought this to tow the caravan, but there is some more mods that's got to come. I've got to put some mud flaps on this thing for them. They want some mud flaps on there. Um, we possibly may be doing some bar work and bits and pieces, um, possibly some lights or a light bar up the front. Um, we've recently just had the compressor fitted, um, the GME radio and antenna fitted on the back of the truck. Um, so I can show you guys that. But uh, I will um, let me know in the comments below on this video if you want me to do some more on this ram, and um, we can definitely make that happen. Um, but if you want to see any of our past videos of fitting the wheels and stuff like that, and the comparison I did between the F250 and the ram, just scroll back through all my videos. There may be some other things there that you um, haven't seen yet that you want to check out. So um, I know a lot of other channels tend to put those links in the description, but um, I find that. I kind of like to scroll through a channel's videos and there may be things that I was looking for or things that I didn't see before that I want to check out so I tend to uh, have a look at that as well so and I'm going to pull up here at the service station now we got really nice food in here grab some lunch and then we'll cruise around to Mitts and pick up this tub strap it down and we'll, um, we'll have a quick look at the F250 and see what progress has been happening. Um, there will be another video up next week for the F250 build. Um, just want to let the boys get a little bit more, a bit more things going. So I'm gonna have some lunch and I'll come back to you in a minute. There was actually one bolt that they actually couldn't get out. 
So they actually had to cut it out, had the impactors on it and couldn't get that sucker out so cut that off. But um, yeah, that's a quick little view of what an F-250 looks like without the um, <laughs> tub on it. So, Alright guys, just finished loading up the ram. So we're just down here at Mitts now. Just got the rear bumper on the trailer and we've also got the uh, F-250's tub, but the F-250 actually has plastic strips all the way around the top of the tub, so it's actually protected from the um, the timber there on top of the deck, so, but she's uh, all tied down, nice and tight now. So guys, there's a couple of other little features that I really like about this truck. If I go controls here, and then I go cargo, I can actually see the cargo bed of the truck. And then if I also click on this one, I can actually see my hitch and the trailer live while we're driving, which is a really cool feature. Just to check chains and things like that, nothing's come loose. And then it'll click back automatically to your screen. So just to give you a bit of a wrap up on what I thought today of and how the, uh, the Ram went. Um, the F-250 I feel has got a little bit more punch, especially going uphill. It's got some real real more pull than what this this big girl's got. Um, that's one thing I did notice. Um, it's not it's not drastic, but I can definitely feel that the F-250 has, has got a bit more punch to it, especially climbing hills. So but again guys today we didn't have much that, that much weight on. Like the trailer's probably 1800 kilos, something like that. That tub's probably a couple of hundred kilos, maybe, if it's lucky. And um, the rear bumper and stuff off the F-250, so... But, pretty impressed with the old Ram. Would I buy one? Uh, I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. I've just noticed some things of... My bolts have come loose on my rear bumper. <laughs> lucky I didn't lose them, they're floating on the deck just there, but... So, I'll give you guys a look at the hitch. So we've got the, my trailer, if you haven't seen it before, it's got the uh, DO45. So that's uh, made by Hitchmaster, or Vehicle Components they're called. Um, so I just slip that in there. Everything hooked up to the ram, pretty sweet. And um, even looking, guys, at the... Um, got to look out for the bloody jumping ants down here. The big bloody pincers on them, they'll get me in the leg. Everything in Australia wants to kill you, remember that? So, you can look at the truck. She's sitting dead level with my trailer on it. So I'd say there's probably, in my box there, there's probably, uh, there's two batteries, there's a winch up there and bits and pieces, so the tongue weight is probably slightly heavier there than the... 10% uh, they're normally meant to be at so it's probably more like 190 200 kilos of ball weight um, than the actual 1.7 so so if you just remember that whenever your trailer is so if your trailer is 1.5 ton your ball weight should be 150 kilos it should be 10% of the weight of your trailer mine's probably slightly heavier but because my F truck's so heavily sprung I wasn't really worried about it but just having that box up there with the winch and stuff in there. So that's about it for today, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go and get this ram undercover right now. We've got a big storm <laughs> about to whip in, so I'm gonna race up home now, get this trailer unhooked to get the ram undercover, because we definitely don't want it to get um, hail damage or anything like that. So yeah, stay safe, hope you're all well, and um, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.